Hey, what's up, guys? Kevin Banks here, Good Music Choice, doing another Kiss 2014 reissue video. Um, I got four total in the mail uh, the other day. I got one more that's coming, but I'm going to do two different videos here to so keep them kind of short. Each one, do two in this video, and then I'll do another one here in a minute with uh, two more. But I wanted to show you the, the uh, two for this video, which First one, I got the 2014 reissue of Destroyer. It's pretty cool owning a copy of Destroyer that's this new. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Every copy of Destroyer that I've ever had has always been beat up or um, or just in really bad shape. Not the record, but the, the cover. So it's really cool just having a copy that's just, you know, excellent condition. <clears throat> One thing that, about this reissue is that they did not do, um, like the actual 76 issue, is the, um, the sleeve is not the hard cardboard uh, like it was back in 76. Any other copy of Detroit that I ever had has that tough kind of cardboard sleeve that the, uh, the record originally came in. But this is the exact same uh, logo and stuff like that on the sleeve of the original record. So, you know, you can't really complain there. It's just different little aesthetics. Uh, the record, white label there. It's in great shape. Really great shape. Man, I love it. I can't wait to uh, get this on and, and listen to it. Every copy I've ever had, the cover has been beat up. and The record was in decent condition, but wasn't in, uh, you know, it had some pops and, and noises and stuff like that in it. So really, really cool to get that. And then this one I'm really excited about. Let's rock and roll over. But uh, there was a little disappointment when I got it. Um, Every unboxing that I've seen on YouTube of this album, the reissue, has had the inserts from the original. Mine came with the inserts just like, uh, just like theirs. Uh, got the sleeve, the original sleeve, the record, in great condition, brand new. But what disappointed me is this record was supposed to come with not only the stickers, which is here, you can peel these apart. They're, I don't know if you can really see it, but they're cut into sections. So you can basically peel this apart and kind of make your own little sticker board however you wanted to make it yourself. I probably won't touch this. I'll probably just leave it in the record as a, uh, as a you know, keepsake with the record. But one thing that I was disappointed in is that it didn't come with the tattoos. Uh, every unboxing I've seen of the 2014 reissue came with the little kiss sticker tattoo, uh, not sticker tattoos, but you know, the wash, wash on tattoos. Um, I looked in here and I, I didn't see it and I was like, man, but, uh, that'd be really cool. I may look on eBay or something like that and try to find it just to complete it. But, uh, overall still pretty psyched about it. Um, I like it. So yeah, came with that. I'm just going to keep that in there. Um, also, I wanted to get an opinion real quick uh, on this. These albums that I'm getting, I'm keeping them in the shrink wrap. Um, vinyl community out there, can you let me know whether or not you think I should take the shrink wrap off and use sleeves? I bought some uh, some uh, clear sleeves on Amazon the other day and to, to protect them with. So thinking about taking the shrink wrap off and put it on there. Tell me what you think about that. Anyway. Two new pickups. I'll get the other video up here in a minute of my two other pickups. See y'all. 